my name is Brittany, and today I have my husband Thomas with us. He's going to be our lovely demonstrator. And today I want to talk about something that's very important to me, and that is oral health. So did you guys know that their Gentle Dental has a study that has shown that 75% of our population has a fear of going to the dentist? My husband's included in that 75%. So this is referred to as dentophobia. So since a lot of us do have this phobia, I would like to go over two basic things that we can do to improve our overall health and our oral health at home. So the first thing that we'll need is a toothbrush. And then the second thing is toothpaste. So it doesn't matter what kind you need. I know you see the commercials that you have to have Colgate, you have to have Crest, you have to have this toothbrush. It doesn't matter. Just grab a toothbrush, grab a toothpaste, put it on. And it is recommended that you brush three times a day, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner, for two minutes each time. So I'm going to set a timer, and while Thomas is brushing, I'm going to go over the most important facts about our overall health. So Colgate professionals have found that um, there is a correlation to our oral health and then our overall health. So if we have a poor oral hygiene, it can lead to a higher risk of heart attack, stroke, controlled diabetes, and even labor issues. Um, also, the Academy of General Dentistry has found that 90% of these diseases I just listed start in our mouth. So it shows symptoms, early on symptoms, starting in our mouth. So a huge correlation between our oral health and overall health. Um, Neil Jahar is, a, is a, a professional dentist, and he has also stated not only does our oral health affect our overall health, it also affects our everyday lives. And I definitely believe in this because I think if you don't have oral health, you don't have confidence. If you, you know, are having black teeth, which is tooth decay or bad breath, we might not be confident to smile or go to a job interview and feel confidence in ourselves. So that's why a, tooth, a toothbrush and toothpaste is very important to start your oral hygiene. So it's been two minutes, so the next thing that I recommend doing is getting mouthwash. So you can grab any mouthwash, doesn't matter, we have Colgate, and just grab a little cup, and it's recommended that you do this once a day and swish it around for one minute. So we'll swish that around for one minute, we'll start that again. Mouthwash has been linked to helping build our saliva up. So the reason why our saliva is so important is because Colgate all their, their professionals also saw that saliva is a huge bacteria blocker. So what this means is our saliva either blocks bacteria or it can break it down. So that way if bacteria such as like the common cold, strep, such disease, uh, sicknesses like that doesn't get into our blood supply and affects us. So mouthwash is really important. It's also, mouthwash can also break down the bacteria along with the saliva, so this is why it's really important to do the mouthwash. Another reason is if you do miss any spots in your mouth with toothbrushing, then the mouthwash can get to it and get all that extra plaque off. It can also help fight off the buildup as well on your teeth um, from not brushing. And so in conclusion, I hope you guys have seen that toothbrushing with toothbrush and toothpaste and mouthwash can really improve your oral health. And um, I hope that once you improve your oral health, that you can fight the dentophobia and go and see your local dentist and get oral health cleaning. So thank you, Thomas, for being our demonstrator, and I hope you guys enjoyed something.